Hi everyone. Today I thought I'd do a short video to show you how my hand crank cotton gin works. First I'm going to go over the parts and then I'm going to show you how I use it. And I'm going to talk about a couple of the problems or troubleshooting that occasionally have to happen with the gin. Um, today I am ginning brown cotton and it's high humidity so it is being a little difficult but we'll make it work. So first are the parts. I should say that this, the bottom base is a wooden box that my mother built me to raise the gin up a bit and help contain the seeds. This is the gin. It also has a base with feet, um, upright stands. These can, metal brackets can come undone, which allows you to collapse the gin for smaller storage. And then the most important parts are these two rollers right here. There's a wooden one, which is attached to the handle, the crank handle. And then there's a metal corrugated one attached to the wheel. The last part that is also important is that there is a wooden block on top, which is tightened and loosened using hex screws, which allows you to control the amount of pressure between the rollers. So to use the gin, and I'm gonna show you without cotton first, you would feed the cotton through as you crank. So, I'm going to see if I can get it to work with some cotton. So this is cotton, has the seeds still in it, and then feed it slowly. And then when you're done, you have some cotton fiber without the seeds and the seeds, which I just toss into the, the box for a easy, easy cleanup. Now, sometimes, and I don't know if you can see it as far as, as troubleshooting, the gin will pull off bits of the seed coat. And so, or sometimes it crushes the seeds as well. So I usually, after I've ginned the cotton, go through and pull those out and discard them as well, um, fluffing the cotton up because one, the seed coat will make carding and spinning later just kind of more difficult. And also the oils from the seeds can damage the cotton a bit. Now the other troubleshooting bit that I wanna talk about is sometimes, and I don't know if it'll do it, um, that the gin will get stuck. Didn't do that on that. But we're gonna pretend that that it got stuck on those seeds. And so sometimes it'll get to the point where as you turn this handle, the bottom roller won't turn. And that is when this wheel is useful, that you can spin it and it'll spin the top roller and it'll help unclog things. Also, if you find that it is so stuck you need to reverse it, you can reverse it. So, this is the gin. I really like having it. Um, I'm not particularly happy with the process of getting it, that it was six months late and arrived broken, but my mother was able to fix it. Um, but it does make it a lot easier to remove the seeds from cotton than if I were to pull the cotton off by hand, which while I have the video, I'm going to show you how I do. Um, actually, I'm going to save that for another video. So, but yes, this is my hand crank cotton gin. It makes processing cotton a lot easier and quicker despite its occasional difficulties. Hope you all have a good day.